Wow, 7.7 mil. Wow, 8.9 mil. Oh, plain damage. Damn, 9.2 mil. Holy shit. Logan, dude. <laughs> Oh, she didn't get targeted? Oh. Yeah, just let Asa do all the damage, I guess. Damn. That is some good stuff. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now she can do 10 mil. Oh, fuck, I share Babu. I forgot. Oh, she babu that turn. Fuck.
Oh well. I can do it now, I guess. <laughs> 10 mil. <laughs> she got a 10 mil. Let's go, baby. Extra 1 mil damage. <laughs> Eleven mil. Damn, man. Yeah, tempering the asset is pretty fucking cool. <laughs> oh, all the damage are from her. There are so many buttons, man. 18 skills, dude. She has 18 button presses. <laughs> she was looking like crazy. Damn, that was the right choice bringing her, man, because she has extra charge bar gain, too. I think it's actually possible to use two Exaltos instead as well. Two Exaltos doesn't sound like a bad idea too. Like it's not it's not shit but it's like just enough. But I feel like if you want to do that you might kinda need to go double 250, huh? I was also considering maybe I can try LOF with this as well, but at the same time it's like got no space though. You kinda lose a lot as well if you actually use that. Cause you want to use this because of this. So technically these two will give you, these, these this two is giving you extra cap as well too. Cause I was thinking maybe it's possible to run this two as LOFs and then you just use this tree and then you use another X. Then you have, you basically have three, four X's, right? I think it's possible. The only that comes to mind is that you really have to get fucking X Celestial or something. That is if you're not using a rush that is. I don't know, why. one seems kinda shit though. We either have to wait for a different Celestial weapon, so we can see what we can do without uh, a rush, And we have to also see whether the next Ex Exalto character is actually a, a burst enabler without requ requiring uh, a rush. Because if that's the case, right, this actually will be a lot stronger. I feel like not having Arash opens up the options a whole lot more. Because now everyone keeps thinking like, okay, Arash is like permanently there, right? So it's like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, I think at that point, it's just really a mat the matter of like, how much cap you can get just by adding a uh, Magna Exalto in there. I actually want that to happen, really. Like, I want the new character to be burst enabling with, like, making us force us to remove Arash. Cause I still I still think Arash is is nice, but just only for like that one thing. The bigger burst picture, right? I can't really see Arash being part of it. Cause Arash is too shit for me. I think I'd wait and see how what's the next Exalto first. And how's the next what's the next character going to bring into Dark? I think that's really the big the big change for Dark. Cause I think that's gonna be very, very important. Like whatever that character has to offer. And we're not talking about a weapon. The weapon is all for primal shit, right? Yeah. But I want to see what's the next character, like skill set, the mechanics of the character is going to be. Because that's going to be probably the big shift, I would say. <laughs> if before, it's just going to be an Ogi character. <laughs> that's why it's like, dude, Arash is good, yes, but I, I don't really like it as much. Because the, the Ogi thing. <laughs> because MC has like a pot the potential of hitting so much damage. Like, you know, with Mana Diver or whatever. Whatever, like even like Omnoji or whatever shit, right? MC has the potential to do that. But if you use Arash, right, you're just cucking MC. That's why I'm, I want to see the next character to do that. So you like, you can just remove this and then just make MC to be the, the damage dealer instead. Yeah, you can actually remove six permanently. <laughs> I think that's, that's how I see it right now. But like, I think fire is in a really good spot now at least though. The fire exalto is actually 
fucking insane though. It really puts Fire Magna in a much better spot. I mean, if say like for example, right? If you go back to what I originally had even for Fire. If just this alone, right? Fire Magna now has so much potential now. Like yeah, you can put tempering in there. You could put your, your AES back in there. The, 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 the Rise of the Beast weapons as well in there. You could put those in there. Like the gun, the, the axe, you can put those as well. Yeah, you can put Celestial in there too, yes. I mean, your Evoker weapons works too, yeah. Yeah, even like your standard stuff like this will still work. That's why you see, at least it, it actually brings out the, the Magna potential now. Fi I, I feel like Fire got way more out of this compared to Dark though. I can kind of see Dark being good, but I feel like I have to rely on the next character in a way. But yeah, put it this way, okay? Put it this way. End of the day, this is not going to be as good as you adding some primal weapons in there, okay? You know, it's like the same as like what I was trying to do with uh with this, this, this thing here. Like how I was trying to do it with this here, right? It will never beat that shit. But the real important thing we have to take away from this is that at least everything you see in here are farmable. That is the biggest takeaway you can take from this. Everything is farmable and it's still viable. <laughs> that's the that's the most important thing. Obviously, a lot of people seem to not really be able to see that yet. <laughs> but at least now we have potential of this now. You don't have to rely too much on like need you know before this right like the actual like the magna thing like um let's go back to our uh, our academy okay this used to be the thing okay like no cap this actually used to be a thing but you know this is so shit right <laughs> because you this one at just raw stage you just enter the raid. You know you have to buff yourself up to actually do damage, right? But this one doesn't require you to. And yeah, this is like referring to like no no primal weapons, not premium magna we're talking about, okay? And so it's fucking wild that we can actually get there now. You get what I mean, right? You can technically still get there even without these. But at least at least for the boys who just completed their academy, rest assured that AS is not fully dead yet. <laughs> you can actually use it here. <laughs>